Last month, astronaut Scott Kelly and cosmonaut Mikhail Kornienko rode a Soyuz rocket to the International Space Station. This isn't an ordinary mission. They will stay aboard the ISS for a year, twice as long as the usual NASA expedition length. The purpose is to study long-term effects of microgravity on the human body to learn more for a possible trip to Mars. Expedition 43, as this one is numbered, has several different research directions, including seeing how the lengthy flight affects behavior, physical function, eyesight, metabolism, and more, things we know are affected by prolonged low gravity conditions. The reasoning behind this makes sense. A long flight to, say, Mars will seriously hamper astronauts' ability to move around once they land. A manned trip to Mars would currently take about nine months. NASA says it hopes to get astronauts there in the 2030s. I'll note this isn't the longest time people will have spent in space. Two Russians spent more time on the old Mir space station, and two others spent a year on Mir as well. But this will still be pretty interesting from a biophysical point of view. Not only that, but Kelly has a twin brother who will stay on Earth to provide a control group of sorts. His brother, Mark, is also an astronaut. They're the only siblings who have both been to space. And he's also married to ex-Congresswoman Gabby Giffords. It's quite a family. I wonder what the outcome of this mission will be. It may show us that long-term spaceflight is too debilitating. If that's the case, then we may need to take seriously the idea of rotating structures to mimic gravity. Those are more expensive and have to be big to avoid the spin making astronauts dizzy. I'd love to see some of those built to test out how well humans can perform on them. More likely, it'll show us that we can stay in space for long periods of time, but we'll have to be careful to make sure astronauts are up to the task once they reach firm ground again, whatever planet that ground is on. In any case, I await the results of the year of living weightlessly.